Namaste, my friends. I'm gonna show you my morning routine that I do. Tapping and some Qigong and breathing exercises might help you get going in the morning. I prefer to do these barefoot. I have socks on, but I don't like to have shoes on when I'm doing it. I like to have some loose clothing. So I've got my third eye, Mr. Eyeball from the residence today that symbolizes the third eye for me. And that's right here, right above your two eyes in your forehead center of your brain is your pineal gland. And so let's get going with the exercises. First one's gonna be tapping with our hands. So we're gonna tap the fingertips first. We're gonna do this about 21 times each. So we start tapping gently the tips of the fingers and just get that going and relax your hands so that you feel the energy there going through the tips of the fingers. Then we're gonna go through the folds of the fingers. We're gonna go through like this where they intertwine and we'll do it one way, and I have like the right hand is over the left, my right index finger over the left on this one. And now I'm gonna reverse the left index finger will go over the right. So we'll get it going the other way. And just do that gently, but firmly. And so now we've done that one. Now we're gonna do the where the thumb and the index finger meet like that. So let's get that one going for a while. Do it about 21 times. I don't necessarily count every one, but I know I'm doing about 21 times. And so then we reverse it and go that way. This is really good to get the hands going with the acupressure points, the meridians in your hands, the energy, it feels good. Now we're gonna butt the, the, the base of the hands. Okay, right there, you see what I'm doing? I alternate a little bit from the outer part to the inner to the middle and just tap, tap, tap the base of your hands. And now we're gonna cup the hands and get it going like that. And that feels good. And it's sort of like you're clapping, but you have them cupped just a little bit. And then we'll go to the sides of the hands. We're just tapping the sides of the hands, the meat of your hand against each other. Okay. And then finally, we're going to end with just some Slapping on the top of the hand and the palm. You can use your fist if you like. You don't want to hit it too hard to make it hurt, but you want to make it feel like it's getting a good little whack there. Tap. And then we'll reverse this side. Slap the hands again. Get it going on the top. You can do the palm, the fist, any way you want to do it, just as long as you get a good wrapping going there. And now we're going to just shake the hands out. You can do this bit, or you can just shake it loosely, whichever feels better. And then I like to just give it a good shake and drop my hands down and give it a good shake again and just get your whole arm movement into it. Okay, so that's the hands. Now I like to take your fingertips, take your two fingers or three if you like, and touch right here at the brow where the eyebrows meet or the, you know, in between the eyebrows where they meet and press down pretty good firm pressure and start pulling across your eyebrow all the way across. And now we're gonna keep going back through the temples here, good pressure. And now over the ear, behind the ear. So you're gonna kind of circle it around your ear and keep the good pressure. Take a good deep breath through the belly. As you bring it down, pressing again on your neck, pulling it straight down on the neck and now right into the above the collarbone and then finish up with your hands over your heart. You can do that several times. That feels really good. Okay, next we're gonna do Qigong tapping. So I start tapping on the top of the head. Just go ahead and give it a good tap up here with your palms, your fingertips. You can do the sides the back of the head. And then I like to take my fist like this and pound on the back of my neck. So depending on how your neck feels and your body, you can tap as hard or light as you want, but I like to give it a good thump here on the back on the muscles of the back of my neck. And then I'm gonna pull my fingertips across the forehead, some pressure. My thumbs, take my thumbs and kind of lean in and Pull the thumbs across the upper orbit of your eye. You can come out, massage the temple, 
and then just gently massage your fingertips over your eyeball and then below the eyeball. And then I like to gently massage under the cheeks, work the cheeks, uh, jaw muscles up in here, the, the TMJ, you know, those muscles get really tight. I give the nose a little rub. So every part of your face gets rubbed above your lips and below your lips. Mm, rub your lips too. And then under the jaw here, and then I like to get my thumb and fingertips working. And then just massage your throat. Oh, your throat really good. Both hands just get a good massage there. Okay. Now again, a little more tapping on the neck. Now I'm going to start pounding up here on my shoulder. On the outside of my upper shoulder. Come around here on the outer part. Under the armpit. All around the shoulder. Now I'm going to tap all the way down the arm on the upper side and then reverse, flip the hand and then come tap your arm all the way up on the inner part. So now on the other side, upper shoulder, outer shoulder here, wrap around armpit and I'll get going all the way down the top of the arm to the lower to the hand. A good little tap. This is getting your chi moving, and your your body just loves it. Mine does. And I like Tarzan or Jane. <laughs> Tarzan more like Jane. Uh, Tarzan like Jane. <laughs> so now get your belly going here. Just get some good wrapping as high as you can reach in the back. Get the kidneys going. Just gentle tapping, not too hard, but you got to do it firm to make it do some good. Now I come down to the buttocks. I'll give the buttocks a good pounding. Oh, that feels so good. The hips, your upper thighs. And I can't show you here. I'll back up a little. I'll show you. I'm going to go all the way down. Tops of my legs. The outer part. I go the backs of my legs, my hamstrings. Tapping them good behind the knee. Calves. The upper. You don't want to hit right on the shin, but get the fleshy part on the inside and outside of the shin. And then the tops of the feet I pound. And then depending on how balanced you are, you can give a little tap on the bottom of the feet. On both feet. Okay. You shake it out a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to do a little breathing exercise. So what I want you to do is take your right two fingers, thumb and index finger. And just pierce, not pierce, but grab your earlobe. And then the other hand, the other earlobe. So it's going to look like that, crossed arms. And you're pinching your earlobes. And it's going to look like this. So do that six times with an in-breath quickly, like you're snorting in, and then sound, breathing out. And you want to reverse that. So I did it like this to start. So now I'm going to reverse. I'll do it again. Now, we'll step back and we're going to take our arms and we're going to like hug yourself and do the similar exercise, but with your arms extended. It looks like this. Cross your arms the other way, and one more set of six. All right, you can shake that one out. And now the last sequence we'll do is some tapping. And so we're going to start with the two fingers tapping on the right inner part of your eyebrow, on the inner eyebrow, and then do the left side. And depending whether you're right or left-handed, one will be easier than the other, but it doesn't matter. Do them both. So the right and left, and you can do them together. Right and left, inner eyebrow. Okay, we've got that about 21 times. Now we come out to the outer edge of the eyebrow. And we're going to tap. You can do them one at a time, or you can do them together. I don't think it really matters. I like to alternate. Do the each one by itself, and then do them together. 
Now we're going to tap underneath the eye, right on the bottom of the orbit of the eye, where the bone is. So just gently right underneath the bone and right on the bone. Some gentle tapping. That feels good. Feels good. And now right above the lips under the nose, the frenum, I believe it's called. And so you can alternate your hands there too. Left and right. Give it some good tapping. And now underneath the lips, right under your bottom lip, your new chin. I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping. And now I like to come down and tap on the thymus gland. And that's located a few inches above your breastbone, below your throat, right in the middle. You can feel it, it's a little soft place. Sometimes it aches a little bit. That means it needs to be tapped. So don't tap too hard, but again, some decent tapping. Tap that for a while, feels good. And then I'm gonna tap right underneath my collarbone. So I'm tapping opposite arm to my left collarbone here. And now the other one, Get just all around underneath the collarbone where that meaty area of your chest is. And then you can do the same side. This feels really good. Tapping a little more firmly now underneath the collarbone. Feels great. All right, that's tapped out. And now, underneath the armpit, just give it a good tap, wrap either side, right under the armpit. You can go up and down a little bit if you like. I like to go right into the armpit, move it around a little, stimulating the life force, the chi, the energy. And then you can shake it out and rub your hands together, you'll feel some energy. Just rub them really rapidly for a few seconds. You can do this before the exercise or after, doesn't matter. And then just hold your hands together and pull them apart. You'll feel that chi energy, the magnetic electromagnetic energy coming out of your hand. So then finally, I like to just kind of wrap it up, wipe it down. So I wipe down the front, my arms, both sides, all the way down to my feet all the way down to my feet, all the way down, tap on my feet, shake it out again. And then I end this way with a little bow three times. I'm usually looking into the mirror when I do this and I'm smiling and laughing sometimes. <laughs> I feel amazing now. Try this every morning. It will really get you going. Namaste.